conducted by Optim uh, company, which is, uh, I would say, a unique in Armenia, in that they are engaged directly in industrial engineering. Uh, maybe any company deals with uh, optimization problems, or, I don't know, uh, scheduling problems, uh, and try to solve them, uh, these problems, by uh, uh, industrial engineering tools. But this is this field something that uh, rather misunderstood and maybe misused in Armenia. And this is a nice opportunity for all of us to understand what are these tools, where they can be used. Uh, and now, uh, after a short uh, presentation, introduction of the company, uh, I will ask maybe Arthur to continue. Uh, with offices in Armenia, India, Australia, and the United States, Optim's worldwide team is comprised of highly qualified and experienced individuals who work with some of the largest names in the transportation industry, including Southwest Airlines, FedEx Freight, and BHP Billiton. Uh, Optim recently expanded uh, their presence in Armenia, opening a new office in the heart of Yerevan with the opportunity to expand their team. The workshop will be presented by top Optim executives involved in the development of rail and airline solutions, including Arthur uh, Ulyan, executive director of Optim Armenia, with discussions on airline and rail, rail case studies, applied methods and approaches in operation research and exciting uh, announcements relating to new developments in Armenia. This is a must-see event for the IT and business communities as well as professors and emerging talent in Armenian universities. So please, thank you very much. Thank you. opportunity to be here and to present our company, our ideas, case studies. I think it's really interesting for everyone who would like to share uh, what we have now, what we are doing now with our students, with our colleagues in university, and also to uh, to see how we can cooperate in the future. Uh, by the way, uh, did you hear about opt-in before? Yeah. Yes. Only one person, I see. Yeah, free pizza. What, what did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, our professor shared the uh, what, what, what website. Oh, that is good. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so good I, enough, good enough. I think it would be more interesting just to start from video. I think everyone will understand what we are doing, and then we uh, will do the presentation. We present some very interesting case studies from airline industry, from rail industry. Uh, which allows you understanding much better what we are doing and how we can cooperate in the future. Okay. So they found other ways to get from point A to point B. By horse, by road, by rail, and by sea. And eventually, through the air. As the world grew, more people went more places and wanted more things. So transportation networks became larger and more complex to satisfy this increasing demand. Eventually, these different modes of transportation started working together. Companies started transferring cargo and parcels between trucks, railroads, ships, and airplanes. Passenger transport evolved into mixed mode commuting, including rail links at major airports and park-and-ride facilities for buses and trains. As all of these networks became more intertwined, and as more traffic used them, increasingly complex decisions had to be made about where shipments and people go, when and how they get there, and how to deal with disruptions along the way. Sounds complicated? It is. But when you step back and look at the big picture, all of these elements are just movements on the network. And networks can be optimized. At Optum, it's our mission to optimize and automate transportation networks, from planning to operations and execution. We develop intelligent software solutions that help companies reduce costs, 
increase profitability, and improve service quality. Optum was founded in 2000 with its roots in academics, and in just a few years, our academic research was ready for the market. We focused on developing software for the rail industry. Gradually, we added advanced solutions for the airline, trucking, and mining industries as well. As we solved new business problems in different modes of transportation, we perfected our technologies, combining optimization and simulation in novel ways to develop next generation solutions. We opened offices in Armenia, India, and Australia to access new talent and be closer to our global clients. Through all of this change, however, we've remained the same team at heart, a team with deep expertise in transportation and logistics operations research, computer science, data analytics, and user interface development. A team with top-notch academic credentials and a natural drive for creativity and innovation. A team with members from nearly two dozen countries around the world, fostering diversity, cooperation, and understanding. A team with a relentless drive to solve real-world business problems and make a positive impact on society. Today, the transportation industry is facing unprecedented challenges. Thousands of decisions need to be made quickly across complex networks to run operations efficiently. An airline schedules thousands of flights and crews and hundreds of planes every day. A large LTL carrier routes millions of shipments over thousands of terminals, using tens of thousands of tractors, trailers, and drivers. A railroad assigns thousands of locomotives each day to the hundreds of trains of lines. These decisions are not easy, but they need to be made every day. And not only are they getting more complex every year, there's a shortage of skilled manpower to make these decisions, and relentless pressure to perform better and accommodate more. That's where Optum comes in. We're building decision automation systems that will partially or totally automate transportation. Decision automation naturally leads to optimization, since these systems can evaluate millions of decisions and implement the best one. At the heart of our decision automation systems are algorithms to create plans, to execute plans, and to analyze operations for better future performance. This is what we're doing, developing these with the common objective of running reliable operations, increasing profits, and improving service quality. The future of transportation is where advanced algorithms will drive all operations with minimal <laughs> Imagine hundreds of driverless trains moving on a rail network. Automated rail yards processing thousands of cars per day. Airline schedules that evolve automatically based on real-time passenger demand. Automated supply chains moving iron ore or coal from mines to ports to ships. Driverless cars and cab networks carrying passengers where they need to go. These technologies used to seem like science fiction, but they're actually just around the corner. So join us as we transform the world through decision automation. Together, there's no telling what we can do.
where they shall go, what kind of, let's say, achievements they can get if they will, uh, they will understand the operation is there to better science much better. And then also I, I will announce some upcoming events. So Optim is going to announce Hackathon today here, and also we are going to have internship program, extensive internship program. I will uh, I will share details at the end of our presentation, and then we can have some question answers a session where you can ask questions, and we are here just to answer on your questions. And please feel free to ask questions at yes, any time. Yes. Don't we have a Q and A session at the end, but we want this to be a conversation. Yeah, definitely. So it can be an interactive also. So uh, uh, let me introduce my colleagues. Uh, Shaman Ahuja, uh, he is responsible for managing airlines, uh, industry solutions, implementation, uh, promotion in the world worldwide. Shaman. Uh, and uh, Sapon is here. He is PhD and he has over 10 years experience in project management, uh, rail industry, a solution implementation, and he's currently managing the rail business intelligence and optimization product development. And uh, I'm just uh, director of Optim Armenia. Uh, just director. Yes. Okay. So, as you saw, so we um, we mostly develop. Uh, a decision automation solution which allows us to someone not replace but uh, to help people to uh, make decisions so machines are making this de decision instead of human this is I think uh, the most important part of decision automation based on really complicated algorithms based on numbers based on some constraints uh, which are provided by industry so we are capable to take the decision and I think machines are capable to make the decision or to help taking this decision for him. Uh, you know that now it's very popular in Armenia, we are talking about how to bring scientific achievements to industry, how to do it. I think this is a quite unique company because uh, our founder is quite famous uh, scientist.